This is it. Yeah, I know. Do me a favor, act professional, would you? And take this out of your mouth, would you? That wasn't very professional. Great. You have to get that lollipop later. I don't know why you even got out of the car. Hey, buddy. What's up? Hey, man. This is about the fantasy football trade? <laughs> the Steve McNair thing was a joke. Yeah, I know. He's, he's dead. That's, f <laughs> That's funny, Jerry. <laughs> I wasn't laughing then, but yeah. it's good. No take backs. Seriously. Mm. All right. Come in. Him, him too? Yeah, sure. You can come in. Wipe your feet. Any dudes out here? Hey, Eli. Hi. Is this it? It's lunch. I'm starving. Where's all the food? You're looking at it, toots. Connolly's child's handled by his personal chef, which pretty much fucks the whole budget, and your douchebag boyfriend, Luke Ass, makes me shop at the dollar store now, so why don't you uh, have one of these golden crispy chips and shut the fuck up? Luke Ass is not my boyfriend. Gross. Ooh, you want that chip in your Somebody say my name? Eye? Did somebody say dickhead? <laughs> Can I talk to you for a minute, please? Privately? I'm not going anywhere private with you, you obsessed freak. You belong at Promises with your pervert father. Look, this isn't the time or the place to talk about what we did last night, so... Whoa, what did let's you guys do last night? Uh, nothing. I gave Mr. Revoked license here to drive home, and he pulled out his penis. Oh! How'd you get your license revoked? I should call the cops. Huh, Eli? No way, man. Haven't you seen Denzel Washington and Training Day? Cops are evil. Plus, kids, I don't want kids. Who wants fucking kids? I'm fucking... Take them on vacation, like nap on fucking wineries and ridiculous shit. Lucas, the only reason I didn't report you last night is because you are have a problem and you need psychiatric help. You're right. You're right, Jordan. Mm -hmm. I do need help. I need Turtle's address. Ugh, I can't believe you. <laughs> You're such an egotistical ass. Easy, Jordan. I'm trying to save this show right now, and thanks to you and to me, we might have Adrian Grenier on this show. But we need to sign Turtle. But the ball is in your court. No, Mr. Weinstein. The ball is in Larry's court. Larry? Hey! Nice uh, stroke, Jerry. I'm in the rough. Oh. I'm not really a... I don't... I don't follow golf. No, really? I never would have known that. So how'd you guys find the house anyway? Come on, man. You know me. I got my ways. Oh, there's Zach Efron's! Fuck Zach Efron, we have to find Jerry Ferrara's house! Oh, there's Steve Gutenberg's! Oh, God. Listen, Jerry, uh, we came to talk to you about something. You wanna know if I'll do the show? Yeah. How'd you know? Now, Grenier called me and said he'd do the telepathi telepathist? The telepathist? Telepathist. I can't, it's a tough fucking title. It happens. Well, he said he'd only do it if I do it. Yeah, that's the deal. What do you say? No. No. What part of no don't you understand? I said no three fucking times already. It's Connolly, isn't it? Fucking right, it's Connolly. He's the biggest pain in the ass I've ever had to work with. You know what really pisses me off? That motherfucker wouldn't come out of the trailer unless it was freezing cold on set. Iceberg. I personally think he was overcompensating for something, if you know what I mean, but... <sighs> I hear he doesn't even come out of the trailer anymore. Oh yeah, he's a tennis ball now. What? Shut up, buddy. He's a tennis ball. No. Yeah, he's an asshole. Fuck out. You sure you won't fuck change out. your mind? No, I won't change my mind, especially about kicking you the fuck out. All right, beat two tennis balls and bounce sure. your asses out of here. He's a tennis ball now. <sighs> Fucking turtle. Buddy, take me to the nearest bar. Yeah, but our two-hour lunch break's almost over. We gotta Fuck the two-hour lunch break, buddy. My life is fucked. The show's gonna get canceled anyway. My ex-wife's fucking Lucas Weinstein, and I'm pretty sure I killed Dewey Props in that explosion. Schultz. Dewey Schultz? Shut up. Just fucking drive. Hello. Larry, guess what? I told Lucas that you had a meeting with Jerry, and I thought he was gonna fucking piss himself. It felt so good. How'd it go? Did he say yes? No. He said no? Yes. Oh, I th okay. I think I get it. Shit. Well, what are we gonna do now? We're gonna drink. A lot. Larry, this might not be the right time, but have you seen Scotty? Who? Scotty set lighting. Oh, shit. 
sorry. Yeah, uh, I forgot to tell you, I, I gave him a couple of weeks off to go shop his fucking moon script around to the studios. Maybe he can get that shit greenlit and we can all have a job again. Goodbye, Larry. So here I am, my very first prestigious literary agency. And I don't have an appointment or nothing, but I have a dream. And I have a new vest. Well, it's new to me. No, Jordan, you cannot have a raise for doing lighting. Larry, what the hell do you think you're doing? Jordan, you sound almost manly. Fuck you, who gave you permission to do this? Relax, Lucas. Jerry wouldn't do the show even if you asked him. He'll never work with Conley again. Where's the we? What we? Yeah, I thought if I had the we removed from Kevin's trailer, he might come out of it and act. Well, we have no star. Kevin Connolly quit, so we have no telepathist, and now we have no Larry, because you're fired. I just got fired. Oh, Jonas Brothers!